Hello and welcome back to Veneer Creations Tutorials. This week we're going to be making this sun catcher that can be attached to your car, mirror or you can put in your window at home. It's completely up to you. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and if you'd like to purchase the kit for this it will be linked down below. So first get your wire that will be in your kit and one of your hoops. And then what we're going to do, please excuse my nails by the way, I've been dyeing macrame again. They're always a different colour today, they're, they're grey. <laughs> um, so first we're going to get the hoop and the wire and we're just going to wrap around the hoop. One, two, three, four. Five, like that, and now you're attached. Then I'm going to add a gold bead. And then when you've got the gold bead on there, wrap around again, as you can see, and then again. So as you can see there, I've wrapped round twice. Now I'm going to get a clear bead and thread that through the very thin wire. And then when it's next to the hoop, wrap again so it's tightly next to the hoop twice. So there's always like one wrap and then a bead, one wrap and then a bead. You're actually wrapping it twice because you're wrapping the bead on and then you're wrapping once to, again to, to secure, if that makes sense. But I'll show you again. Now I'm going to get an amethyst chip. And as you can see now I go around once to secure it on and then once to double secure it on I guess and then another clear bead thread it on once round twice round as you can see you're getting that lovely pattern now now I'm adding another gold. Round once, round twice. Right, I'm gonna carry on doing that and show you at the end. So now you can see I have added a gold bead, a clear, an amethyst, a clear and then a gold bead and then I've done clear, amethyst, clear, gold, clear, amethyst, clear, gold. So all your beads should be on your hoop then. I've already wrapped it twice on here to secure this last bead but I'm going to wrap it another three times. So one, two and three to secure. And then I'm going to need my scissors to cut that off. So you can use like jewellery clippers like this or you can use scissors. I'm going to show you that I can use scissors just as even these ones that are bashed. <laughs> and then you can just even use the metal of your scissors to kind of get that bit of wire down. And there you go, that is your middle hoop. Now I'm going to start adding prisms and the other loops. So I'm going to get my prisms here, get my jump loops, open my jump loop with my finger and just thread it through. And I'm going to do that with all three. Yeah. 
These are double jump loops. Oh, I prefer working with these ones because they're much more secure. But you could use the other ones if you're buying the equipment yourself. But if you're using mine, it will come with these. Then get your first prism and put your jump loop through the top of that jump loop so you've got like two in kind of a chain there. And you get your one of your, if I can pick it up, one of your hoops and attach the top jump loop to that. So it's like this. So the the hoop is through the top one, the top jump loop, and the bottom jump loop is holding the prism. Just pop that down there and do the same with the other clear one. And pop. You're just doing exactly what you've just did before. So it'll kind of lie like that, but it is going to kind of do, go this way when you've finished. And then do your amethyst one last, your crystal chip hoop, just going to add that to the top there. Just like you did with the other two. Like that. Now we're going to join these all together. Now we're going to attach these two together. So if you get your jump loop here that's, if you hold it like this, this jump loop that's holding the jump loop and the normal hoop together is the one you are going to be using. So kind of hold it like this. And you're going to attach this jump loop to this one. Now attach it on this side here because that's what's clear. You don't want to be attaching it to the crystal side because that will be very hard to do. So now attach it to there and just feed it through and then bring it to the bottom so that it kind of lies in the centre but it will move around, don't worry, you can always just move it back. There you go. So that's the bottom one fixed on and then now we're going to fix this one to the middle one. So again, with your middle circle you're going to attach this jump loop so not the one that's got the prism on it you're never doing it with the one with the prism on it you're doing it with this jump loop that is attached to the center hoop so grab that and then you're going to attach it to one of your plain well your last plain one and then you should have something that looks like this Now get your chain that'll be in your kit. Grab the end chain link and add that to the very top jump loop. Again, not the one that's holding your prism, the other one that's around the hoop. Attach that to your chain. Now, with your chain, you can cut it you, I have given you a 50 piece piece of chain, but when you have attached it to your car, you may want to cut some of this off. So what I'm going to do now is just put another jump loop on the other side of it. And then attach that jump that to the jump loop on the top. So can you see so it's got like a circle. So you can just pop that around your 
mirror in your car or you can cut it shorter this chain you can cut shorter and then add it the jump loop further up so then it's hanging higher in your car which I will show you in a video okay so now we're in um, my car I'm going to show you how to attach your sun catcher so if you get your jump loop you literally just unattach it from the chain which is loop. so I'm just going to use the one that we've just made now so this sun catcher you can attach it just by going around your mirror so I'll show you that now so that is attached you wanted it shorter there's no reason why you can't cut this shorter and have it like mine I have mine like up here 